Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the ESPN app. Now, it is the one time of the year when all four major sports leagues in the United States are currently playing games. It doesn't last very long, but it is when the most fans at once are interested in keeping up with sports, scores, and highlights, and news. So, it seems like a fitting time to take a look at this app. So when you first launch into the app, you will see it'll let you select all of your favorite teams and leagues. So you can basically get those put to the top of the list, which is very nice because most of us have preferences on which teams we keep track of. So as you can see, I have my favorites on the home screen here, and then when you go down, you will see leagues that you have favorited, like the NHL, MLS, MLB, and NBA, stuff like that. We can scroll over here to news, and it'll basically give you all sorts of news from all sorts of different sports and teams and the like. If we click on those, they will open right within the app, which is very nice. It's much better than when they redirect you to a website in Safari, so it's much easier to read in here than it is in certain apps. Now, one thing that's unique to the ESPN app is the Now section, and this basically gives you tweets and the like from ESPN analysts and sports figures and stuff like that. I don't personally use this at all, and I don't think a lot of people do very often, but it, it's nice that it's here, I suppose. It's kind of just a neat feature. Up in the top left, you have the search button, which is pretty basic. You can search for teams and players and all sorts of stuff like that. You can get to settings here where you can change your alerts, you can change your favorites, and you can change your language. Now, you can set it up so you basically get alerts for all sorts of news from teams you're interested in, even leagues you're interested in. Those will basically just push notifications to your phone whenever stuff happens in said league. So if we go over here to favorites, you'll basically just get all sorts of news from your favorite teams and favorite leagues, which I suppose is kind of useful. So now the next tab is basically sports, and that just gives you all of these sports. Now you see your favorites at the top, and then you see all of the rest of them at the bottom here. You can click on any one of those, and it will take you to its page where you can see news, you can see scores, you can see now, and you can see standings for the particular sport. So basically a one-stop shop. So then the last two tabs here are basically Listen, which gives you access to ESPN Radio as well as some of their podcasts, and Watch. Now they basically built Watch ESPN right into this app, so you no longer need to download that app itself, you can just do it right from here. So you sign in with your cable provider and you can watch any of their channels that that cable provider supports. So if we click on something here, you'll see it'll load right up, and you can basically just watch ESPN, which is a really nice feature that you'll only get with this app. So now if we click on a game here, you'll see this is a game preview, since the game is not currently being played. It'll show you the matchup uh, projector, it'll show you the team leaders, it'll get, let you get tickets, it'll give you injury reports, all of that basic information there, which is really nice. Of course, you can get tickets and also shop. So I can't actually find a game that's currently playing, but as you can see, when one's over, you'll basically get the recap here, just like you would in any other sports app. And obviously when a game is playing, you'll be able to see things like live scores and stuff of that sort. You know, just lots of live information. This is probably the best app, along with the score, for getting live info while trying to watch a game. We can also click on a Teams page here, and you'll see you have all of their scores, you'll have their news, you'll have now, and you'll have standings, as well as a nice header up at the top there, which is kind of convenient. Now there are 3D touch shortcuts from the home screen here, you can see watch ESPN, listen to the radio, and your favorites. We can also go over to the widget panel here, and as you can see, you basically get some of your favorite team's scores, which is really nice to have right, right on your home screen through the widget panel. By the way, the app does feature a iMessage app and an Apple Watch app. For the iMessage app, it basically just lets you send scores to your friends, which is kind of nice to have. It's just a kind of useful feature. So unfortunately, I can't really show you anything from my iPhone 5S because I don't have an internet connection right now, but it does work. I've used it. I used it for years when I had the phone, and it does work. Obviously, it's going to be a bit slower, but overall, it does function just fine. So they definitely seem to have worked out most of the bugs with this app. It used to be really slow, the animations were jittery, and it was practically unusable with how much it crashed, but they seem to have fixed most of that, and it seems to work fairly well now. So this, along with the score, the two apps I use for the most part to keep up with my sports needs. I switch back and forth between them depending on what I like, but this does work very well. I would probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars, because it's not perfect, I still think they could improve. But it does work, and I, I would recommend it if you're looking for an app to keep up with sports scores. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing, as it really appreciate it. It really helps me out. I post new videos every single Sunday, so I definitely have to see you back next week. But until then, 